When you and I met, I was in physical therapy and uh, a couple of different kinds of physical therapy. And um, both of my practitioners said, it's great that you're doing this work with us, but if you don't continue with a yoga program, we may as well not be bothered. We may as well not bother doing this. Um, Actually, I think my care um, after a few appointments was contingent on that promise, which I did keep and did start your class, um, which was ironic because I, I was a little um, forced into it because I was a competitive runner, I was a footballer, I was an athlete, I was not a yogi. That was, that was for other people. I, you know, um, I was a contact sport person. So, um, I, you know, I'd always wanted to try yoga and it always sounded good, but it just didn't seem to fit in with my go, go, go lifestyle and thinking style. And I'm so grateful to those doctors for recommending you to me. So they weren't recommending just any yoga class? Oh, no, they were recommending yours specifically. Specifically, yeah, you were you were uh, already known uh, around town at that point. And so, if you, have you taken uh, yoga classes in studios or gyms? I have, I have, um, not in gyms, but in studios, and they were very reputable studios. And uh, I got injured each time. So How did that happen? Never went back. Um, teachers put their hands on me without permission and forced me, despite my um, telling them I couldn't do it, that I was doing as much as I could in the way that I could, um, forcing me to do postures that I wasn't able to do. They just weren't listening to me. And before the class, did you tell the teachers that you had certain things that weren't going to be good for you to do? Actually, they did not um, have those queries like you do. So they didn't start their classes with uh, the general query of, um, you know, how people are feeling, what their issues are. Um, you know, it was the standard fill out the form, cover, liability form. cover your liability situation. But when I brought that up, the, you know, one of the teachers snapped, well, I don't have time to read all of them. So, um, yeah, it, it, the, the difference between uh, the, the climate in your class and others is breathtaking. Um, and I, I'm so grateful for it. Thank you. And so you've been coming to yoga faithfully since 2008 mm -hmm. and steadily improving. Yes, steadily improving in big ways and in small ways. And, um, you know, there are basic things that, you know, as a former athlete with all the injuries to go with it, um, there were issues with my hamstrings that I've had since I was 10 years old and um, issues with my back and neck and shoulders that I've had since birth and all sorts of other things where, um, bit by bit, month by month, year by year, week by week, I could feel and see the difference in the way I was feeling, in the way I was holding myself, in the way I was moving. And what also sets your classes apart, Deborah, are it's your, um, your true yogic experience that you offer us of, you know, thinking and feeling and putting putting your your heart and your body together as you're moving in a mindfulness that goes beyond what what we think of as mindfulness which is really you know how can you treat your body the way you want your body to treat you and um and that has helped me in you know reaching for a glass in the cabinet, turning on and off the water, um, bringing a pan, a full pan of water over to the stove. I now hold myself differently um, 
because I think of your teaching of ahimsa, which is non-harming, is the way I approach everything now. And, you know, is this really the best way for me to move in this situation? Um, yeah. I'm so happy that you brought up ahimsa non-harming because that's the first precept of yoga is do no harm. And many people think of doing no harm as not hurting other people, but they forget about not hurting themselves. And that mm -hmm. could mean doing a pose that's too hard for you at the moment, that's in a position that your body isn't prepared for, holding it longer. I mean, some people will give 108 sun salutations and maybe for you, one mm -hmm. would be just right, but 108 would be way too much. So ahimsa is, as you put so beautifully before, it's how you treat yourself in the class. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is that came a reminder that you give us all throughout the class is how are you feeling? How are you breathing? Are you breathing? Um, constant, constant reminders for the full length of the class. And, um, you know, every time you ask the question, there, there are answers to be had. It's never like, oh, every, you have checked every box. Um, no, there's always an adjustment to be made. And so it's great that you give us these reminders. And then I hear your voice in my head when I'm doing my own, my own movement practices. Um, you know, am I breathing? A lot of the times I'm not, or I'm not breathing, you know, into my stomach the way I would like to. So um, it, definitely it it does change i mean that there's such a big difference we feel so taken care of in the class at least i do um and it's you know since you've structured the class sizes in such an intimate way that uh it really has the feeling of a private with um all the camaraderie of a class and it's really the perfect combination for me anyway um <laughs> And uh, I mean, and that's why even when I moved now, um, before Zoom became a thing, you know, I was Zooming into your classes in New York and I will continue to do so indefinitely. So thank you. Well, I'm so happy that you do Zoom in because it's wonderful to have your presence in class and oh, it is you. a wonderful group. You know, it is, it is like teaching a bunch of different privates because I do know everybody in the class and yes. I interview them beforehand so that I know if they have issues that I need to be careful with them about. So everyone can have their own variation. But you're also a member of the DQ workout, which is not yes. yoga. It's yoga the basically based in yoga, but it's more of a head to toe workout. Do you want to talk about that? Oh, yes. Um, it's the combination of um, of all your classes, um, but the what's great about the DQ workout is you really do get a workout. Um, even though it's yoga based, there's bands and weights and um, you know dance warm up and a little bit of everything. And it really and you you give us the the most succinct instructions for every single movement about how to maximize it, which is so terrific. Um, that, you know, I, you know so much about the human body. It's, it's so fascinating. It's just endless um, when you say, well, this goes with that. And if you do this, then maybe, you know, and as you explain it and we make our adjustments, you can see and f see the difference in others and feel the difference in yourself. Um, and um, it's amazing. I, I definitely um, have seen gains and felt gains in strength um, and endurance because of that class, for sure. And it's so much fun. <laughs> it's the sassy class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do have a lot of fun there, but even there, people have my blessings to stop if they've had enough or if oh, yeah. their energy is low or they're not feeling well one day. They can adjust the class to their needs rather than trying to keep up with the rest of the group. It's really important. Oh, absolutely. You, you do ask us at the beginning, how is your energy level? How's everyone doing today? 
conscientious of the weather and the heat and the cold and everything else. And it's, it's wonderful. It's, it's really, it's so uh, embracing really. Um, but it's, it's also a very active class. It really, really is. Um, and it's, we have, we, we have a good time um, healing together, you know, because that's, I feel like that's what exercise really should be. Not in movement, it really, it shouldn't be torture and it shouldn't be harmful and it shouldn't, it should be something to look forward to. And I absolutely do. I love it when my alarm goes off and it's time for me to tune in to any of Deborah's classes. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. And, you know, the reason I did the DQ workout is um, it's important to have more than one exercise program, I think. But you're also in the Felden, the Friday Feldenkrais. I am. Young yeah. Christ, I have to say, is move the needle the most for me. Um, I think it has straightened out my crooked spine that I was born with. Um, it has definitely changed my posture and my shoulders and my back so much and my, uh, my hips now and different things that you've given us that, you know, given us in class or um, I've gotten off of your website. Uh, the three minute miracle for the hamstrings um, and the ironing board completely changed my life in three minutes, um, at which I never thought was possible. But I was showing my best friend uh, in her kitchen. I said, you know, this is what I'm always telling you about. You know, you really need to, to do the class. Um, and we did it together and we looked at each other. You know, she is a former dancer. Um, and we've both had issues with our hamstrings our entire lives. And we looked at each other and we said that that was amazing. My hamstrings have not been the same since everything else, all the yoga, all the DQ workouts, everything, just walking, running, everything has improved since, um, doing that three minute miracle. So then that's just three minutes. Never mind the the building that we've been doing with all the Feldenkrais classes. It gets every nook and cranny of the body, which is what I love about it. None of this would make any sense if I tried to, you know, think about it, but luckily we have, you know, Moshe Feldenkrais, who is a genius and thought and worked it all through. Um, and what's so great about it is you have us take a scan at the beginning and we're all crooked, you know, um, as standing as straight as we can, but still, you know, in whatever state we're in. And at the end, you know, there's, there's the proof. Um, everyone's standing straight, everyone, you know, depending on what part of the body has been worked on, everyone looks and feels different and better. And, it applies to real life movements, like getting up from a chair, getting out of bed, getting onto a bus, walking around, going upstairs. And I love in all, all your classes how you explain how the movements we're doing and how they apply to real life. That's a big difference in Deborah's classes from anyone else. Um, and it, it puts it all together and it makes so much sense. And that's how I feel about Feldenkrais too. It kind of puts everything together. It's like, and for me, the three classes have been a, a hat trick of, you know, of healing and, and maintaining. I don't, I honestly don't know what would have become of me without them, without you. Well, thank you, Beth Ann. Um, but I would like to point out that a large part of this is you dedicating yourself and coming consistently to the classes and the way that you've absorbed the messages that I've been trying to get across. Sometimes mm -hmm. as a teacher, you don't think people are always understanding, but you mm -hmm. understand very well 
what I'm trying to do here and the confluence and synergy between yoga, my workout, and Feldenkrais because they all work together. Yes. If you do Feldenkrais, it will help you with your yoga. Yes. And if you, you know, Feldenkrais is not an exercise program, but it will help you with your exercise program. So that's why I've focused my energies on these three things. Mm -hmm. And I'm simply delighted that you wanted to come on today and share your your experience with other people because maybe it will inspire them to to try themselves, you know, to find something that they can look forward to, um, something that doesn't hurt, but actually feels good. Yes. Something where they maintain their agency in terms of how much they do so they're not going beyond their limits and where there's no peer pressure to keep uh, up with <laughs> the other students or the teacher or any of that. I think it's a, it's a flip. I mean, most exercise programs, unfortunately, are very, they can be very competitive and that can lead to some serious injuries. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yes. That, that is another big difference I'm glad you brought up. There is zero competitiveness. Um, and it's just nothing but support for each other, frankly. Um, it's really, it's like, it's like no other movement experience I've ever had. Um, and I've, you know, been involved in a lot of team, on a lot of teams, you know, belong to many gyms. And this is just a completely unique environment that, I feel very blessed and grateful to have become a part of. So thank you. Well, thank you for coming. It's been such a pleasure to have you as a student. Thank you.